are you nervous to start a GLP-1 because you're worried about cancer? Well, the new research might surprise you. So I'm Tiffany, I'm a physician assistant, but also a GLP-1 advocate. So I help people get access to GLP-1s that can't get them through their traditional insurance. So if you're struggling with that, there are some links over here in my bio that will help you out. So here is what the most recent data shows from 2025. So this study looked at older adults with type two diabetes and that have been diagnosed with cancer. People that took a GLP-1 drug had a whopping 40% reduction in their risk of dying versus people that were on different diabetes drugs. Now the benefit was strongest in certain cancers, lung, colorectal, and breast cancer had the highest survival rates for people who were on GLP-1s. So this is crazy good news, but why? Why is this a thing? And the reason is, is that GLP-1s do more than just lower your blood sugar. One thing they do is that they lower your resistance to insulin and insulin resistance can actually fuel cancer cells. They also lower overall bodily inflammation and chronic inflammation plays a very important role in fueling cancer and the growth of cancer cells. So when we lower inflammation, this also helps limit the growth of cancer cells. And obviously GLP-1s promote weight loss. And the more we find out about obesity, we know that it is a chain reaction and can lead to cancer. So I get this question all the time. People say, I'm afraid to take a GLP-1 because I don't know what it's gonna to do to my body. So what about the risk of cancer? So there has not been shown to be an overall increased risk of cancer for people who are taking GLP-1s with one exception. You should avoid GLP-1s if you or someone in your family has a very rare cancer called medullary thyroid cancer. There is a theoretical risk that it could make that worse, but again, just in theory. Now, the risk of pancreatic cancer has been debated, but there are no studies that actually confirm that there's any increased risk of pancreatic cancer when you take GLP-1s. So as a healthcare provider, here's what I can tell you. If you have had cancer or a family history of cancer, then you need to talk to your healthcare provider first about whether or not a GLP-1 is right for you. Because only one in five people online actually say that they ever bring these concerns to their healthcare provider. So don't let TikTok or Reddit be your only source of information. It's good that we're bringing it up on these media platforms because I think we get the info out to more people, but always bring these concerns to your trusted healthcare provider. And the best news of all is that GLP ones are not just for weight loss. We are finding out every day all the amazing things that they can do for your body. And it looks like that people with cancer, it is helping them live longer, healthier lives.